So what actually is mindfulness? Well, at its essence, it's about being fully present and fully engaged in each moment in our lives. It's actually just an everyday experience. We all have moments each day where we're in the moment, paying attention to one thing at a time, fully absorbed in whatever we're doing. Perhaps it's when we're in the zone at work, perhaps it's when we're with little kids who are just inviting us into the present moment or playing with our pets. Maybe it's when we're doing our hobbies and our interests because they tend to be things that invite us into the senses, whether it's tasting the food that we're cooking or whether it's drawing and seeing the, the forms and the colours and the textures take place on the page, or whether it's playing a musical instrument or listening to music or watching a good movie and really watching it or reading a book and just getting lost in the story. All of this is mindfulness. So it's something that we all experience throughout the day. But of course, it's one thing to be in the moment when we're doing things that we enjoy and something completely else to still stay present when we're sitting in peak hour traffic or trying to clear our inbox or at work or doing some manual task like washing the dishes. They're the moments where the mind just loves wandering off, doesn't it? And in fact, research has shown that half the time we're awake, we're not paying attention to what we're doing. 46.9% of the time, to be exact, our mind is off somewhere else daydreaming. And let's face it, often worrying and dwelling on things and getting caught up in negative self-talk and judgments and reactions. And so in those moments, mindfulness becomes a practice. And the practice of mindfulness is again really simple. We notice that the mind has wandered off somewhere other than what's actually happening in the moment, and we just bring it back. And of course, it's going to wander off again and again and again. And so the practice is to notice and come back and bring it back and bring it back and just keep re-engaging our attention with the senses, with the body, with what we can see or hear or feel or taste. And over time, when we practice that, like anything that we practice, we get better at it. We start to notice perhaps a little quicker when the mind's wandered off. We get a little bit better at bringing it back without judging ourselves or getting frustrated that we're getting distracted in the first place without thinking more about what it was that distracted us. We just notice that the mind's wandered and we simply bring it back gently, patiently, but persistently bring it back and re-engage with whatever we're doing. And that's what the practice of mindfulness is. So it's an everyday experience, but also something that we can strengthen through practice. And the research shows that when we practice mindfulness in any way, and particularly when we sit and meditate, and so for a period of time really cultivate this ability to notice the mind wandering and bring it back without judgment, it starts to change the brain. It creates new connections and in fact starts to grow the brain in certain areas like the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus, which are associated with executive functions. And what that means is that if we practice that and strengthen those parts of the brain, then during the rest of the day, we're just better able to pay attention and stay focused. We're more self-aware and we're less reactive. And so for that reason, there's a lot of research now showing that mindfulness is a very powerful thing to do for our mental health, for our performance and for our relationships.